guys, welcome back to Derby Cry. <coughs> um, it's the weekend, so I'll get some more done. Uh, I've just been checking the filters and stuff. I've checked on the fish. They're actually just having a little something to eat. Um, I was going to do some stuff yesterday when I got home from work because uh, the weather all week has been pretty awful, so I haven't had a chance to do anything in the week. Um, but it was a fairly nice day yesterday, so I decided, oh no, I'll come home. I'll go around the back and I'll uh, do a leak test and stuff like that and get some of the little bits and pieces done. Um, I think it's best to show you rather than tell you. So let me finish in here and then we'll go around the back um, and I'll show you what I came home to. Okay guys, so I've done the filters, checked on them. So when I came home, I'd cut that down. Now, I did know they was going to cut it at some point. I didn't know when. My neighbours did say they uh, were going to get it cut down because it was getting too bit out of hand. And it was swaying quite a lot, so they was concerned about it coming over. So they've had it trimmed. Um, and I, I said to him, well, can you let me know when it's going to be done? Uh, because obviously the things behind the tree, I'll, uh, I need to move from whatever on out of the way. And he said, yes. Apparently they spoke to... The tree people, the tree men, um, when they came out to price up the job, and they said, yes, we'll tell them we're going to start it. Uh, now, I can't blame my neighbours. They are elderly neighbours. They're a lovely couple, really are. And uh, they assumed that the um, tree, tree men had uh, been round and told me, which they hadn't. So, let me spin you around, and I'll see where I can show you what happened. Okay, so I came home to this. All over the place. All on top of the shower. All over the floor, behind the filter. And what's annoyed me the most is that one's come off and it's all in the filter shower. So I'm absolutely fuming I was absolutely fuming in fact i don't know where the cover's gone i need to find the cover off that so i am absolutely fuming i was um the tree pe treatment had gone by the time i got home so i couldn't say anything to them about it i have spoken to the neighbors and they did offer to come around and clear it up bless them but they are a elderly couple so i couldn't have them coming to clear it up so yeah i didn't do anything yesterday obviously because of the state of this, I'm I'm still pretty fuming. I really am fuming about it. The state of it. I mean, it's just I'm just so grateful that I didn't have any fry in here or any fish, because I haven't even looked in here yet. Not too bad. A bit of crap at the back that's got through somehow on that one. Um, obviously I, that's filled water. So did a leak test down the thing. I wanted to fill that up. This one's empty. Little bits in there that's got through mainly through the gap there on that thing. But my concern is what's happened to me packing my shower? Unless the wind's blowing it down the back, I'll have to sort that out. Uh, but I will have to secure those because I'm but yeah, I'm absolutely fuming because I've now got to take this apart and clean all that out again because I don't know what's gone in there. There's bits of sawdust and everything else, so I know I've got to clean all this up. Yeah, so I, I you can imagine my language when I got home yesterday. I was not happy. All I can say is it's a good job that tree man wasn't up that tree because he would have got a barrage. <laughs> uh, an absolute barrage. If I'd have known they were coming yesterday I would have sorted something out. I'd have got my tarpaulin up earlier. So I've got a bit of tarpaulin to put up. It wouldn't have got it all but it have stopped a lot of this. Um, but I'm, I again I'm just fuming so I'm going to take God knows how long now to clear this up. So that's my first job before anything else can be done. I've got to clean this crap up. Oh, oh yeah, just now, even down there, look. They didn't even, even attempt to look over to see what was here. You know, they've even broke the trestles at the back, which was secured on. They've done that somehow. I'm assuming they broke it off and stood on the wall. So I've got to reply, put that back up. Oh, the joys. Anyway, enough of me moaning at this. Let me see if I can get this sorted out and cleared up, and I'll. Do some more stuff on it. I'll be back with you soon. Okay, uh, clean most of that up. 
as much as I can get to. Um, yeah, the shower, the top cover got blown off or whatever else, and it's here. And this is the crap that got into it, that's floating in the water. So I'm gonna wash this out again, tip that out, wash it again, because some of it is sinking. The crap, the bigger stuff maybe, some of it isn't floating, so I'm gonna get this out and wash out two or three times. And hopefully it didn't get through to the second layer. I'm gonna have to wash that out and then vacuum out the um, green piece. The show a bit there, um, but yeah, I'm still pretty upset over it. Annoyed, I should say, not upset. I am annoyed. So let me clean this out and wash it again. Right, that's all cleared out. That was okay because luckily the lid stayed on that one. Um, for now, until I get my roof sorted, that's just me moving it around. Until I get my roof sorted, I'm gonna get some clips. I've got some um, crocodile tile clips, uh, bulldog clips, whatever they're called. I'm gonna stick those on to stop them blowing off. Um, I thought that was inside then. So, um, I, this is now filled with water. As you can see, I'm probably going to need a bit more in there, to be honest. Um, just check the level. Yeah, I was going to need some more in there. I need to bring the levels back up again. And as you can see, even that lock, even though it's got the lid on, there's little bits gone in there, which I'll have to uh, try and flush out. I think I'll have to flush all this out to get the... Stuff a little bit sank down the bottom. Nothing major. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. But I need to turn the water back on. Top this up some more. Because when it's off, I need the water to be another couple of inches. Oh, wonderful. And it's raining. Ah, oh, supposed to be nice and dry today. And it's starting to rain. But anyway, I can still get the water done on this. Top that up. Hopefully it don't last long this shower. Because I need to check if there's any leaks on this side from that slide valve up. If there's no leaks on there, I can do a run test on this one. Uh, once I've got levels up, I'll do the run test, check the shower and the upflow. And then top up some more water for this one and do exactly the same this side. So, let me get the water back on, let it get topped up a bit and I shall be back with you shortly if it's not raining. Okay guys, as you can see, it's washing a little bit, it's about where I need it to be, it's not far off. So that will be my level uh, when it's not running. So that level will transfer to this one, which should again be hopefully about here somewhere. So um, I know there's no leaks down here, um, yes, I have filled water up. I did have a slight leak on there because I said it, uh, it's got threaded connections, but it only came with the threaded to flexi pipe. Um, whether those would have fitted in a pipe, I don't know. But I've put those on. There was a slight leak from that one, so I had to put some CT1 around it and whatever. So I know that's cured now. So my next thing is turn the pump on so big fill on that one this one is still empty at the moment i want to get that vacuum out so what i want to do first power's on here you can see that power's on so i want to turn this one on that'll run my pump up it'll then go through up the upflow through the shower and in. So here we go. Don't think I need a drum roll, but here we go anyway. There you go, straight through the upflows coming up. That's working. And that has dropped the level in there a little bit. Might need to go down a bit on there. But yeah, that's not far off, I'm happy with that. And the shower is running, which I'll show you in a minute. Let's have a quick look. Hang on a minute, let's see if I can close that down. 
might just turn the camera and get a better angle at it under there. I'm very happy with that flow through there. That's very good. That's going to be a nice flow that is. So I'm very happy with that. And as you can see the upflow is working. So yeah, very happy with that. What I'll do now is I'll close this lid up and we'll have a look at the spray in the spray bar. See how that's going. Okay, so we'll look in the spray bar, top of the shower. I'm happy with that spread. So I've got the centre one coming straight down and one either side. I'm very happy with that. Very happy indeed. Um, at some point I may, once I've got the fish in there, I may even do it before that, stick a piece of filter floss in there just to help catch any bits of fines that get through and stop it clogging a shower up because once the uh, fryer are in there they are going to produce a lot, a lot of waste. If you watch Vince at Twisted Koi, which I've got to thank Vince for helping me come up with designs and ideas. He's helped me along, along the way with uh, some of these ideas. He helped me with this spray bar. So, because I've never done a spray bar before. And if you watch these videos, you will see exactly how much waste can be produced by some of these, these koi. And especially the fry. The amount they're eating, they produce a lot of waste. So filter floss is really going to help in there. So, uh, yeah, that one's done. So, I'm happy with that. I'm now going to do a leak test on the other side. And that's going to take some filling up. I'll be back with you. Okay guys, I've uh, cleaned it out, vacuumed it out, I've put the grid in the bottom. Um, one thing I haven't put on yet is my air pump, because obviously there's no roof on, and the pump itself I don't think is an outdoor pump. I don't want to leave it out for now, so what I'm going to do is, is I've got my leak tester to do on this side, underneath, and slide valve, because there's no leaks on that. Once I'm happy with that, I've got to fill it up, and um, if I need the air pump, when I need it, I'll just bring it out for now, plug it in, and use it as needed until I can get a decent roof on. Um, I'm hoping to get some tarpaulin on today, to, if there is anything else going to fall out of there, I've had enough of it dropping on here. Just for now, stick some uh, tarpaulin on the top. To give it a bit of protection until I can get a, uh, some sort of roofing sheet. I would like to go polycarb, but that's bloody expensive. Unless I can get some second hand stuff. If not, I'm looking at a corrugated bitumen type or box profile. I can get some second hand stuff, but I would like some with the skylight ones in over both tanks, at least one of each. Um, I think they're a meter wide, I've looked at, so if I can get one over. So I can get a bit of light on the tank. And then hopefully I can insulate the inside still with that. Anyway, that's another light today. For today, next one, we'll do this. So as you can see, there's plenty of water in there. So what I need to do is this slide valve. I'm going to open this up and that's going to force water through and in. So I'm going for a couple of seconds just to get enough in to do a leak test. Here we go. That'll be enough and the pressure of that unfortunately has pushed the grid off but that has filled the pipe work up in fact the grills look at that oh nearly <laughs> nearly went on in itself anyway because it's dry here i can check there's nothing there and i can't see anything underneath let's have a look let's have a look underneath Nothing there. And then I think we are leak free. Fantastic. So, ooh, excuse the camera work. <clears throat> Very happy with that. So, what I'm going to do now is let this level out. As you'll see, if I open this, I'm just going to push that off the pressure on that one. This one should be dropping as it is. Yep, that's dropped here. 
when that levels out I'll get the grid back on in there and then start the fill but this is the big fill no idea I was going to try and get a um, meter on but I don't think it'll work so I had to empty it a couple of times with leaks and into the pod so I'll work out what size this is, what size my other tank is. Um, obviously, I know it's an easy pod, and I'll work out with that. So, I know I'm work out my meat, uh, literage for treatments and stuff. But I think we're there, that's now level. And as you can see, I've got quite a way to fill. That's going to take a good hour or so. So, um, yeah, let me get the hose back on filled up and we'll do a test on this side right well that's uh <coughs> fair enough i'm having a bit of a tidy up but what i've got to do is this is the media that's in the easy pod it's a mixture of k1 i think well it's a k1 micro even and it's like k3 uh, <coughs> what i want to do what i've got to do PP. So I'm mixing PP up, put it in there, give that a good soak, and that's the medium we use for now. And when budget allows, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more um, K1 micro. And so for now, that's stuff and PP for now is going to be an easy pod. I want to get some uh, more funds. I'm just going to I'm going to get some more K1 micro just for this and put the micro in here and then that stuff will go into the a moving bed part of my filter system uh, it may do a good enough job with the with this stuff it's a mixture of I'm sure it's just K1 there's K1 and K micro I think in there and that K3 by the look of it see there um, because this is mainly going to be for the mechanical side yes obviously it's going to be a bacterial side um, but this is mainly mainly for the mechanical so I want to get as much out of with this one as possible so that's all I want to do is to the micro and obviously we've got that one there and the showers and the moving bed all that will be the biological but this is going to be mainly mechanical so I want to get some PP mixed up and stick it in there let it soak for a bit uh, whether I'm going to run a PP mix through that once it's all up and running for a little while I don't know I don't think it really needs it I may just do this for now and what I'll probably do is I'll run some Vercon through that give it a good dose of Vercon probably a couple of tablets and let that run through um, for a few days so anything in there Vercon will definitely get rid of any of that so that's my plan for now let me get it mixed up get it in there hopefully i don't stand my hands purple but we'll wait and see now pp's in here i'm going to put some water in people i have asked in people has asked me in the past last when i did my um moving bed barrel build and i pp'd the media how much to put in to be honest there's just, i don't didn't wait i just put probably for the moving bed it's probably about two teaspoons one and a half to two teaspoons this is probably about one, one and a half in here as well. So it's going to be more than enough for what I need. And obviously you can't see the colour it's turning at the moment, but that is very purple. So that's in there. So I'm going to, do, I'm going to give that a mix. And I'll, well, what I'll do then is I'll stick some cold water in there and mix it through. And get that a good stirring. Um, I've got a small air pump, but I don't think that's going to be enough to stuff an aquarium one. I don't think that's going to be enough to boil it, so I'm just going to keep stirring it in there and that will uh, do what it needs to do. So let me get that stuff in. Okay, so bring some water in. And as you can see, it's really purple. So I'll give that a mix, clean out in a minute. And yes, I've got it in my hands, look. But let that fill up and that'll be a lovely purple colour. So I'll come back here when it's full. Okay, let's keep it in. 
and she's a very deep purple I probably put a lot more than it needed in there but wouldn't hurt it so yeah there's bits of uh, in there as well that's why stirring it just sticks it to the side so a bit out like that little bits in there I don't want so as you can see it's just little bits that stick to the side when you stir it Keep giving this a clean and a stern round, anything that sticks to the side I don't want, I shall uh, pull out. But I don't think I'm going to get everything out. But I am going to run it for a few a little while in there anyway, once it's in the pod. Uh, so anything that goes through I can scoop out then. It goes into the either of the tanks. This is just to sterilise it very late. So. I'm not expecting to get every little bit out that shouldn't be in there. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't as much in there until I did the bloody trees because it was left out, which is my fault. I did leave it in the open. It is my fault, but I've got most of it out. A few little bits won't hurt it for now, but I'll sort that anyway. So, yeah, that's probably sterilized already, but I'm going to let it soak a bit longer. Another couple of hours in there at least won't hurt it some people do it for a few days but i don't think he's going to need it with that and the work on that i'm going to put in that's more than enough so uh, i'm going to continue tidying all this crap up these off cuts of wood and bits and pieces let that soak let that fill up and i'll come back to you okay water levels nearly there I did notice a slight leak coming from here on this, so it just needed this needed tightening up. But I also noticed, let me show you under here, turn the camera up. And you can see the water under there. There's been a leak. I have tightened the rubber boot up. I'm hoping that's cured it. I can't get on there to clean the water out. I need to wait for it to dry out. Hopefully it'll dry out. And I'm hoping it's not from the bulkhead because if it is for me to do that I'm going to have to empty all that out which is going to be a pain I didn't notice it when I first put the first bit in obviously it wasn't leaking enough what I'm hoping is it's just let me get back down to show you again because my insulation's on there what it's done it's leaked out the rubber along the bulkhead filled up where the insulation is and that's just what's leaked from underneath so I'm hoping that's not going to get any worse and I've tightened it up enough if not that's going to be a pain I'm going to have to dry everything back out but what I want to test first is I'm gonna, I've closed that side down open that side up I'm going to run a shower I've got to wait for it to fill this up so that's going to tip the level down again but that'll be hopefully there's enough in there to do that if not I'll wait for it to fill up some more so I'm now going to run the pump again, so back over to the pump, if that's still on the wall, yep. So the pump's running, that's now filling that up, which will go that way, and you can hear it running at the moment, into there. That will then fill up that and return from both sides of those, hopefully. But again, the bloody, because I've cut it, look, it's coming off the bloody tree. So I've just got to wait for that to fill up now. Looks like a wall, to be honest. <laughs> I need to keep me on that, it's not going to get too low. That should be doing exactly the same. Yeah. That's filling up them. I'm waiting for this to fill up now, and then hopefully it's going to have enough. It'll come out of there, and that's not going to overfill um, once the pressure's on. Once I'm happy with that, I'll open them both up and run them both at the same time. Or both of those up to run both, and again, I can harm the pump up then. Um, but we need to see. So. At the moment, that's filling that before it's doing anything else. And maybe a little bit 
couple of drips coming in from the thing which I don't mind it's only from the bulkheads that are in there don't know if that's a little leak on that that's fine water level still okay now at the moment so yeah um, that's just gonna have to wait now let me have a quick look again how far we are oh, it's getting there now look on that one that one's starting to fill up and then that one's not far off either that will probably start coming out before that one that one's a bit higher there we go we get you in there watch the camera work so there's the return on that one we am going to the other side to fill up I'll look again actually what i should do i've got to excuse my camera work a second pop that up there first strap there just to there Right, have a quick look in there. Right, that should be coming out as well now. There we go. Right, I've got the two returns. So what I've got to do is hopefully that's going to come out of that quick enough. But it doesn't overfill that. I think we're okay. Yep, yeah, that's not overfilling that at all. Again, sorry about the camera work. I'm trying to get him to see everything. And that one, that one seems okay. So, I'm happy with that. Quite a good flow through that one, to be honest. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is let it fill up a bit more and I'll get the other one running. So, I shall see you in a little while. Okay, I've got about another centimetre, maybe two of water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run them both now. So I'm going to turn the pump on. And that's, that's filling up that. Run both showers. As you can see, that one's now working in there. And once that fills back up there, Hopefully, I'm going to quit looking at the top of the shower. I may have to water these. Yeah. Let's come out a little more on that one, but not far off. In fact, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. So, oh. I'm going to turn that top of the camera on There we go. Hopefully, you can see under there the two returns. So, I'm happy with that. And happy with that. So I've got to clean that crap out there and there. That's come out a bit out of the shower and some of the stuff from off the tree. But I'm going to shut it down now so I can get my level. So if I shut that down. Right, the levels to level out. Just to say, I reckon about a centimetre, one and a half centimetres, something like that. Just so it's above this, the channels here, when it's all settled down. It's just about there, so about a centimetre, and I'll be happy. Okay, guys, so all that's done, I have to give this a clean out now. Got that crap in the corner. Uh, very happy with the flow at the moment and I'm happy with the height of this I have put my pump in I've tried it plugged it in and I've tried I meant to record it my fault I put it away now <laughs> um, to show the boil on that absolutely perfect I did what I'm going to do now is I've got to sort out some pipe to run four air stones I want to put one in here one in here i need a couple i have got four air stones but i want a small disc for in there and small disc for that side because that will be the moving bed um what i'm going to do at a later date is potentially by have to source another pump um, because if this is going to be running i want this running the air into these when i need to either bottle the pod or that one it's going to be a bloody nightmare to figure out the pipe work 
and I'm just swap things over I don't want to be messing with it so I may have to get another pump to only to be used to clean the pod and the upflow I think that's what I'm gonna to have to do but that is gonna to have to be at a later date because I need money for the roof I've got to sort the roof out next and I want to clad all this up obviously this window is going to be here come out the front I want a window here a window there I'm thinking of putting a window here to give a bit more light I don't think I'm gonna put one that side so I'm not gonna get any light and obviously I'm gonna door with a window um, so basically the whole of this the front here all of this and that side will be a window and as I said, whether I put a skylight of some description in, I don't know yet. Um, so, that is still pp -ing. It's probably enough, to be honest. I may clean that out, tip that out. Um, don't know if I'm going to wash it thoroughly. I might just put it in because it's going to help PP it anyway with a bit of Vercon. Won't hurt it. It's going to be a, quite a while before I uh, put any fish in there. Um, so I think I might do that next that's now had three hours four hours peeping that's gonna be more than enough for that for what I need give that a good swill round I think um, yeah so not much more I can do apart from that so let me do that now I'll be back with you soon okay I've decided to put the air pump on Got the air stone, two or three air stones, just to boil it a bit to help mix it up. And if there's any rubbish in there, just by doing that, look, that's why it's killing off the dead, that nasty stuff. So I'm gonna let that boil for half hour to an hour, and uh, I think that should be more than enough to clear out and uh, stick it back in the pod. So I'll let that boil, and the next time you see it, hopefully, it'll be in the pod. Look at it, bloody raining again, nightmare, never gonna get this bloody thing finished, but it's up and running, Jesus, look at that sky, it's gonna absolutely hammer it down, <sighs> oh well, never mind, I'll get done, I was wrong, it's turned into hailstones as well, mix of hail and rain, wow, Ah, lovely British weather. Okay guys, still up and running as you can see. I managed to get a tarpaulin on. It's obviously not going to protect it from the rain. <laughs> it has got holes in it. But I'm still getting bits and pieces dropping off the tree. So it's just going to protect it from stuff dropping off that really. That's the only reason that I want that on for now. Um, that's still boiling away and we'll leave that boiling for at least another hour uh, but as you can see it's all running so I'm going to leave everything running I did have a very small leak on this one um, when I had it I didn't realize it was a very small hairline crack down here on this side or just down here very tiny tiny little drip so all I've done is I took the insulation off or I can show you you can see it down there and I've just plastered it in CT1 and I got a bit of off-cut plastic I had and I've covered that over and that's uh, I think that's cured it so let that go off some more I may stick some more CT1 back on it just to make sure uh, apart from that everything else is running fantastic tomorrow what I want to do is hopefully get the medium or well, the medium will be in here today and tomorrow I'm gonna try and fit up my air air pump I think because obviously not waterproof I am gonna cover it I try and cover it and I'm going to try and get my moving bed set up and running um, if I can find some airline which I haven't got but I'll see if I can find some I might have to try if I can pop out somewhere and get some now look that's with the for the bloody that's what's still coming off the tree so that's why this that's why I've put this on for now so that's going to help out for now so uh, yeah as I said I'm leave this running for a bit more and then I'll get that in the easy pod and I'll get it running through there and I'll leave it running for a couple of days with some work on in there and I'll put some work on in and let that run through but on a side note I checked the temperature in the main pond that's at 
Now, since I filled up, I've been left this in here and running. And whether you can see that, that is just under 12 degrees. I'd say about 10.8. So that's over a degree warmer in here or in these tanks already than it is in the main pond. Oh, that's amazing because that's come straight out of the cold tap. Um, and I don't think the cold tap running at that temperature, but there you go. So that's it for today. I think I'm gonna say leave that running, get that in there. Um, not much else I can do today, but I'm really, really chuffed with the way it's running. Absolutely over the moon. So I should catch you all tomorrow. Morning guys, Sunday. Um, done a little bit more this morning, so what I'm gonna do, I'll spin you around, I'll show you what we got done, and we'll have a look. Okay guys, there it is. My fry setup all up and running I'm very happy with it and what I've decided to do is call it Bisley's Bunker <laughs> so <laughs> when it's all up and running and everything's completed I want to find a plaque or get a plaque done something with Bisley's Bunker on and it's going to be pride of place on my new fry setup so let's have a look what we've done um, media in here I've got my K1 micro and I took out the K3 I didn't use that and I've actually put in some K plus so it's a mixture of both when that matures that'll be lovely um, my moving beds I've put the K3 in there and I have put a tiny bit of K plus in there as well my air pump is all connected up and we're hopefully you can see you can see down there, I've got one in there. You can probably see it on could have shower. I've got one down there. And I've got one in this side of my moving bed. In there. And one the other side. I do need some more media in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this chance to mature a bit. And maybe in a week or so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my K1 Micro out. My Easy Pod on the main pond this stuff take five or six litres of that out and I'm going to change that for the K plus hopefully it'll be okay pump set up there runs these I do need another pump for the upflow and this apart from that it's all done up and running I have got my verk on I'm going to put it in there let it run for a couple of days everything's running great I have got a very small leak coming underneath here from there it is a very small leak I'm gonna leave it a few days and hopefully it's gonna seal itself up if not unfortunately I'm gonna have to get all that out but I'm absolutely over the moon with it obviously still got the structure to finish the roof doors windows and everything else but that's costing money I haven't got yet so that'll come later over the moon with it Beasley's bunker okay well guys that's it absolutely over the moon with it so uh, I'm gonna leave it there I have waffled on a lot in this video I do apologize it's probably over 30 minutes long now so I'm sorry for that if I waffled on too much but this is bunker I'm over the moon with it I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's helped me along the way and supported me on this build can't thank you enough but as I said I waffled enough now can't wait to get the fry in here can't wait to get the fish in here first get it all up and running see how they get on um, so yeah that's it for now so from me Bisley at Bisley's Bunker. I'll catch you all soon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Jobs are good.